Hello friends, today we are going to study about probability. Probability is you spoke of class 9th also and class 10th also. In both the classes you are having probability and the same probability. But the type of question changes in class 9th and class 10th. So higher order thinking will come in class 10th. So let us start. The basic is same for class 9th and 10th. So first of all let us start. What is probability? So whenever you are doing any experiment, so the chances of answer that is called an experiment is called an event whenever you are doing an event the chances of answer that you are going to get is called probability probability means how many chances are there for that answer that is that it's probability if i say uh, uh, if you toss a coin how many possible answers are there if you toss a coin there are two possible outcomes means total outcomes Two, either head will come or tail will come. So how many number we have to write down? Two. This number we have to check. Number of possible answers. Two. And out of that, if I say favorable outcome, what is the possibility of getting head? Favorable outcomes. So what is the probability of getting head? How many times head is coming? Number one time. So we have to write the number of times. You don't have to write this. This is for finding that how many, if they are asking you how many heads are coming or tail, at that time you have to do this. Otherwise, every time you have to write down the number of times that things is coming. So, total outcomes two. One head or tail, two outcomes. Out of that, head, if they tell you, find out the probability of getting it. How many times head is coming? Only one time. So, probability of event. This is called probability of event. Event, we are doing this event in the Favorable outcomes, I am writing favorable upon total outcomes, this created. So first of all you have to write down favorable upon total. So the probability of, of getting head when a coin is tossed is 1 by 2. Now let me explain you when one more thing. Suppose you are having one die, dice that is we are throwing and total how many numbers are there on one dice? Six numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So your total outcomes will be 6, 1, 2, we have to write down the number of times that answer 1, 2, 3, total 6 numbers are there. So total outcomes will be 6. If I tell you, find out the probability of getting 5. So what happens? Favorable outcomes. We don't have to write down 5 here. We are, we are finding the probability of getting 5. How many times 5 is there in these 6 numbers? Only one time. So we have to write down the number of times. Only one time that is there. So probability of an event getting 5 equals to. This also we can keep in bracket. Probability of an event getting 5 when a die, die is thrown is 1. Favorable outcomes upon 2. It is 1 by 6. If you divide this. If you divide this 1 by 2 and 1 by 6, always your answer will come between 0 and 1. Between 0 and 1. Why it is so? That also I am going to explain you. Look here, if I say if you are having 10 candies, 10 red color candies in a box. How many candies are there? 10 red color candies. If I tell you to find out the probability of getting a red candy from the box without seeing inside that, then what will happen? Red, all candies are of red color and you want, want to find out the probability of getting red color only. So what will happen? Total outcomes 10, favorable outcomes also 10. So what will happen? Probability of event getting red candy that is 10 by 10, 1. So here compulsory you will get one red candy only because only red color candies are there. So this type of event when you are getting answer 1 that is called sure event. Sure again. Means you will obviously get red color candy only because all candies are of red color. Now from the same box of 10 red color candy box, if I tell you to find out the probability of getting green color candy, what will happen? If you will close your eyes and take out any of the candies, you will never get green color candy. Why? Because all candies are of red color. So at that time, your Total outcomes will be 10 only, but your favorable outcomes is 0. So your probability of event is called 0 by 10. That is 0. And this type of event is called impossible 
पॉसिबल इन पॉसिबल सो एवरीथिंग इज अबाउट बिटवीन दिस श्योर एंड इम्पॉसिबल यू कैन सी इम्पॉसिबल मीन जीरो श्योर मीन्स सो ऑल द प्रोबेबिलिटीज आंसर विल बी बिटवीन जीरो एंड वन दिस आर द पॉसिबल आंसर वेन इज इम्पॉसिबल इवेंट जीरो and when it's sure even day is one and all the other answers will be between these two only so total these are the possible answers your answer will either uh, your answer is starting from 0 to 1 only between this 0 to 1 only you will get all the answers or you can say starting from 0 uh, to 1 only you will get all the answers this is for impossible event when answer is 0 this is for sure event when answer is 1 now probability of a even plus probability of not a even is always equals to 1 let me explain you by giving one example if i say uh, you are having 10 uh, 10 balls out of that seven uh, green balls are there in a bag green balls in a bag and three red balls in a bag so total balls will be total balls will be equals to 10 now if i say what is the probability of getting green balls so you know probability of even getting green ball that will be 7 by 10 now what is the probability that the ball is not a green green ball so that will be we had not a green means only three balls are there so not a green This is probability of getting green balls. This is probability of not getting green ball. That is three by ten. So what will happen? Seven by so denominator is ten only. So we add the numerator ten by ten is equal to one. So you can see the probability of even of and the probability of the same even is not a even is one. Every time you will get this thing. And one more thing. Whenever suppose you are having fifteen balls here, if I add five blue balls. Balls. At that time, total now how many balls are there? Total fifteen balls are there. Now, if I tell you to find out all the probability of all this one by one, and then after getting all the probability, if you will add at that time, obviously you will get answer one because you have done experiment on these three events, and then if you are adding this, the sum of all the events. Yes, this is compulsory that you have to take all the events or all the Uh, different things coming inside that, and then you will add that. At that time, you will get answer. So these are the basic things that we need to st uh, study before starting probability. So thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel so that I can bring more such videos.